Recording this video of the Close Trade Wednesday, 3rd of October 2012. Well, it's been a scrappy three days kind of in the market. We didn't get a break to the downside, at least not yet. Uh, and in fact, overnight we kind of pushed into the 50s, uh, supposedly on strength after um, Romney's comments at the presidential debate. So um, I was hoping, I suppose, after Monday and Tuesday, after mutual fund inflows, that we get a little bit of a sell off and uh, have some decent kind of uh, downside move, but it's not happened yet. So, and we're running out of time. Um, but at least there's been a fair amount of range, fair amount of volume, and the market's been smoother uh, over the last couple of days. So uh, that's kind of good. Uh, yesterday we had 1.3 million contracts traded, it was about 13 points of range, kind of top to bottom. And this is what's happening on the uh, trend line chart. We're just winding up here. We're in this. Uh, you know, consolidation zone uh, where the uh, rising and falling trend lines. We're going to get a break one way or the other uh, into a decent kind of trend move, but uh, you know, it just has, hasn't happened as yet. Uh, and I was hoping this is this set up 45 minute chart, 135 minute chart, and the daily chart, and that we were seeing these kind of pullback to end of trend moves kind of rippling through uh, the lowest to the medium to the highest time frame. I was hoping we'd get a sell off into that pullback support level. On the daily chart on the e mini, we've got a couple of days to run to that support level kind of comes in. So potentially, you know, we could have kind of a shift down below 30 uh, and find that support there, but it's not happened to date. Um, and we're running out of time. Dollar index, same thing. It's like, you know, we, if we were having a market sell off, we'd have kind of strengthened, continued strengthened dollar index over here until we get that uh, resistance level kind of come in. And then when dollar index starts to weaken, the equities market will kind of shift up. So, and we're running out of time here. So, yeah, potentially, you know, this is going to come in and we'll kind of rock it into the 50s and kind of keep going. Um, it was Rambo pattern overnight, and that's kind of we spiked into the 50s kind of overnight. So, you know, and the last time we tried to break down on Sunday evening was a Rambo pattern at 30. So, kind of just wait and see. Uh, but, you know, like I said, you know, we've, we've just been kind of cruising around this kind of 15 point kind of uh, tight little range at the moment. So, you know, just waiting for that breakout uh, in one direction or the other. Uh, in terms of Wednesday's trading, a little bit scrappy. Um, you know, four points is kind of the the thing to shoot for. If you kind of shift it out, we're just not getting the follow through on trend moves. Uh, so looking for any more uh, in terms of a, a setup is is just not seemingly working at the moment. Um, just because we're in those tight ranges. But coming into the open, you know, we had pullback to end of trend. We've had exhaustion buying at the end of yesterday and bearish divergence kind of come in. We had a bunch of activity, blue professional bars. They weren't necessarily at the highs here, but they were certainly active kind of pre-open. And then uh, we had on the 4500 tip bar chart, we actually had at the beginning of the day, blue professional down bar uh, resistance at this point here on the 4500 tip bar chart. And so it was a nice uh, one shot, one kill um, here. I was short 42 out of 38 uh, right into here. Traveled a little bit further, but I was quite happy with that. And then ISM non-manufacturing index uh, numbers kind of came out. I uh, tried to re-enter short. It, short. it was going my way, uh, but then we had exhaustion selling in a Rambo pattern. I always say these are unstable moves. It didn't hit my profit target, and so I got out of break even when it kind of rocketed all the way back. So uh, this is amateurs kind of selling down, and they kind of exhaust uh, themselves in terms of the selling activity here. Uh, trying to break to new lows and the thing just reversed and went the other way and set us up for you know a little bit of a, a trend move for uh, the rest of the, pretty much the rest of the day into the midday um, tried to get short uh, around here but uh, as soon as the blue professional bars kind of came in uh, I got long into a nice little trade four point move here it was a long at 42 out at 46 uh, and again, the setup for this is another kind of Rambo pattern. Amateur down, it was amateur up bar, amateur down bar here on the 1500 tip bar chart. Just showing the amateurs were kind of a, caught in a little bit of a, um, a congestion zone here. But then as soon as the blue professional bars kind of came in at the lows, and then we had a blue professional bar breaking to the upside here, bang, this thing was going to continue uh, until we saw kind of bearish divergence. There was another four point kind of move there. And the market topped up topped out at another Rambo pattern up here before we had a sell off. And then this is the overnight activity at the moment. So we kind of punched into the 50s at the moment. So um, I'd have thought it'd be starting to weaken if you look at uh, all the bearish divergence kind of coming in there. But you know, maybe we'll need uh, on Thursday's activity an exhaustion buying activity, an exhaustion uh, buying pattern like this in order to mirror uh, the start of this move, if you like, with the end of this move to uh, exhaust that and then kind of set the trend in the other direction. So there you go. Um, yes, scrappy kind of trading the last couple of days. Tuesday was particularly difficult. Uh, Monday was nice. Uh, Wednesday's been nice. So uh, you know, just uh, kind of keeping my head down and and uh, 
try not to um, think too much uh, about the bigger picture and just kind of taking uh, little trades and uh, not making mistakes. Hope you're trading well. Looking forward to the next couple of days. Two even, long 42 even. And the reason we're getting long, the support level on 1500 tip bar charts holding, we've had rainbow patterns into blue professional bars. First blue professional bar we've seen in a while on the 45, kind of going this way. And I think we're going to test back up. Uh, we've not seen bearish divergence yet. We could be setting up for that bearish divergence, but uh, got a little bit of time to run for this uh, support to resistance to kind of go off. So just hoping for a breakout above this kind of level, above 42s. Go. We just got the break above resistance on the 500 tip bar chart. Let's keep going. Excellent. So previous high. Uh, 43.75, I think we just bounced off that. So we'll see a little bit of uh, resistance there initially, 11,000 is a big reading. Uh, we've got a little bit of time to travel though, uh, in terms of um, cyclical resistance kind of coming in. So I think we might run it, run some stops, so target's at 46, so let's keep going. So there we go, just run a whole bunch of stops. Uh, 11,000 on better momentum, so we could be setting up for a bearish divergence here, but we're in an uptrend. Uh, just broke through that 43.75 level and just went nice, took off. 46 is the target, we're just under. No blue professional bars, yeah, 13,000, that was a big reading. Bingo, just out, 46, another 4. Excellent. Just went uh, ballistic there. Um, and surprising, maybe this will be a bearish divergence at this point here, but uh, set up that Rambo pants in a blue professional bar, support holding, bang, rock it up.